be wondering if all the insects are going to die because it's winter and it's cold outside. But insects have their own strategies to overwinter. Some, like the monarch butterfly and the painted lady butterfly, they take off for the winter. They're like snowbirds. They migrate to go to warmer places. And so do the green darner dragonflies. We saw a huge migration last fall, and so they actually leave the area when it's cold, and they'll come back next spring. Other insects, they stay. They stay for the winter, even though it's cold. But they have different strategies to spend the winter. Some of them will die, but they've left the offspring. And they could be in the egg cases or in cocoons, such as the bagworms that we have outside. Those little bags that are hanging on trees of all kinds this year, including the ones that they destroy, the evergreen trees, they are in the egg form. Some of those bags may be empty and some of them may be filled with up to 300 eggs. So we want to pick those off. And there are other ways that insects spend the winter, including in their larval form. This is not very common, but we may see them if we dig up some leaf litter. The woolly bear caterpillar is one of the most famous known for having the ability to create a type of antifreeze in its body in the form of glycols, and that is how it can um, tolerate these freezing temperatures. They are usually under the leaf litter, and then they'll go into a cocoon phase and turn into a moth in the spring. So if you do happen to see one of those woolly bears crawling along the, the ground, just tuck them back in so they can stay warm throughout the winter. The ones that avoid the cold are sometimes hiding under leaf litter, hiding in logs, in the bark of trees. Sometimes they do end up hiding in our chimneys and along our buildings. But the ones that we are dealing with on sunny days are ones that actually came in in the winter because they overwinter as adults inside. These include the brown marmorated stink bug, the western conifer seed bug, the multicolored Asian lady beetle, and box elder bug. They get in on the, in the fall on warm, sunny days. They crawl up the west side of the house. And so at this time, there's not much we can do about it. But just like us, staying warm in our homes, we are avoiding the winter by sheltering. Some insects overwinter as larvae deep in the soil. If you think about the white grubs, like the Japanese beetles, that's what they're doing right now, rather large and deep down into the soil. So. No matter what, how cold it is, insects will survive. They find a way just like us. So stay warm and don't worry too much about those insects.